right hello everybody welcome back i am with tigrafiba and this is my channel so today we have a very interesting topic which is do old films still matter now this is a topic that really 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 sends my mind running crazy simply because i really really, really like it and i have quite a bit to say about it so i'll really try to make this video make sense because again there's a lot that i want to say and some parts of it i don't know if i should say here or wait till there's a discussion of some sort but we'll see how it goes now before i get into my reasons and <clears throat> the things i want to show you guys off the bat i feel like they still matter a great deal and part of the reason why i feel like this is you know because i was watching a master class by martin scorsese a couple of months ago and i think in the first episode he spoke about watching the old masters or watching these old films because you know these are films that you often are kind of forced to watch in film school and a lot of people tend to hate them and all of that stuff but before i get into it just check out this video the point is that um with creativity with cinema like any real art form is you really should know the old work that has gone before the old masters and I, I do think uh, you should know it, meaning you should be exposed to it. You should see and uh, experience them as best you can. Do not look at them to learn from them. Look at them to see if it speaks to you, if you're interested at all, if you're curious. You know, it's not a matter of uh, I'm going to learn something from watching all of Max Ophelds. I'm going to learn something. <laughs> you know, um, uh, it's a matter of uh, your response to it. You're aware that that is out there. You're aware that that's part of the medium you're using. Uh, and so, in a way, even if you reject it, you have to know what you're rejecting, I think. Now, after watching that, right, it got me to thinking, right? I started thinking about some of my favorite shows and how they reference the old movies, you know, shows like, well, rather series like Mr. Robot, which has a ton of references to a lot of those films then. I'm the guy who can get it for you. I'm here to provide you with anything you may need. I can pretty much find anything. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. Yeah, I think I'm pretty fucking far from okay. To one of my favorite movies, The Joker, 20... Is it 2018 or 2019? The one with Joaquin Phoenix and how so much of that movie was sort of inspired by martin scorsese and you know his films and when you watch the joker you really get a feel of a lot of martin scorsese's films but i think one that really came at me was taxi driver you know because i looked at the aesthetic of the joker and it felt very taxi driver e e e and i think it was so crazy because i remember the first time i watched the joker I remember thinking, wait a minute, was this film directed by Martin Scorsese? Only to find out later it was shot by Todd Phillips. But anyway, you look at how such an old film like Taxi Driver influenced this new film that came out like two years ago right now. I think 2019, I really think. You look at how an old film like that really influenced, you know, this film that was shot now, right? Even though they were shot in two completely different formats. One was shot on film, actual film, and then the other was shot um, digital, I think, right? And you just look at how the image kind of speaks to you. But anyway, um, there are a whole bunch of other films that, you know, tend to get referenced in this day and age, you know, a lot by, you know, previous cinema giants, you know, like Stanley Kubrick, Truffaut, um, John luc Gardot, you know, all of these people, right? And I feel like my thoughts with old films is that they are very, 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 very important because in every single art form, right, you need to track the history so that you're aware of the things that have come before, you are aware of the things, or rather you're aware of the way things were done and how the processes have changed as the years have gone by because I think film at the core is reinvention, right? Because on some level, every story or every idea has kind of already been told, but you can tell it differently. 
so if you're going to reinvent something i think it's really important to be aware of how something was already done not for you to necessarily copy it or do it exactly the same way or you know perhaps have direct references to those specific films but just so that you can see how you can reinvent it and make it better or perhaps a little bit more palatable right because you find that there are a lot of techniques that were done in those films back then that perhaps people don't appreciate now because again people look at those films and they think oh my god this film sounds horrible it's not even clear or crisp and this and this and this and that and you can bring those techniques here right and people look at your film or they look at the movie and they completely lose their mind like oh my god where does this idea come from how did you think to do this how did you think this how did you think that so i think there's a lot that we can grasp from those old films for the most part those films for me represent you know time stamps in history you know because you look at how things have kind of evolved in terms of camera movements and the the way we tell stories and the way the audience kind of receives the stories or films that we tell you know and i think it's really important to look at those things and you know be aware of them um one other reason why i genuinely like these old films is I guess to some extent at this point it's more of a niche kind of thing you know it's kind of like fine wine right it's a it's an acquired taste to really appreciate those films you know because i feel like there's a lot of nuance in those films you know not just story wise but even just watching films on actual film you know there's just something about them that you know feels very raw and untampered with and a little bit real if that makes sense um and i think that's something that i try to have or i think that's something i try to bring forward in my visuals because i think on some level film nowadays seems very 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 i don't know it's it's too clean if that makes sense it doesn't feel real anymore now i don't know if it's because you know everything is all high resolution 4k 8k 12k or because of the way we consume it now because before then you know films were things you watched in a cinema on like a really big screen and now you have netflix you can watch it on your phone tablet laptop or smart tv you know and i feel like you really really lose the artistry and the experience of cinema you know we all get caught up in the fast flashy you know action stuff that sometimes i feel like we tend to lose the appreciation of a still frame right the appreciation of just what you're seeing on screen as it happens as it stays there and you hold that shot you know so i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know how that's going to you know work out in the future and the way things are going to progress but i really feel like we're losing a sense of realness if that makes sense with a lot of movies and i think you know if a lot more people looked at those films and drew inspiration from them we could try to bridge the gap between you know perhaps the lack of quality that was present in those films back then and you know with the sort of disconnect that we have in film right now i don't know how that's going to work out but i think there's room for improvement there There are a lot of references to films like Pulp Fiction, Citizen Kane, 2001: Space Odyssey, and they often inspire a bunch of different things, right? A lot of the times these films inspire not just other movies, but even, you know, just sets in general, like music videos and stuff like that. You see a lot of music videos tend to have, you know, sets that are built like some scenes in 2001: Space Odyssey. you know you have a lot of references or yeah you have like a lot of references to movies like taxi driver like for example in the joker movie and you know pulp fiction with the goriness no tarantino obviously um and i think one of my favorite new age references to old films 
is Squid Game. So, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you've not watched Squid Game or finished it, stop watching, stop watching, stop watch, stop watching. Why are you watching? Go away, go away, come back later. <laughs> but anyway, I think one of my favorite references to old films right now is in Squid Game, right? Where the front man shoots his brother. You know the scene where the front man shoots his brother, right? I remember watching the whole series and thinking, who is this guy? Who is this guy? And it wasn't till there was the standoff on the island, right? That I realized who the front man was. I realized that it had to be his brother. For the simple reason that seeing how he was dressed, it reminded me of Darth Vader, right? So when that moment came, that standoff, I remember the scene in Star Wars Episode 4, I think, from 1983, where Darth Vader reveals to Luke that um, he is his father. And it was this crazy cinematic reveal and people couldn't believe it and it was crazy. So when that moment came, I just sort of drew the correlation between the characters, the way they're dressed, the mask, the everything, the sounds. And I was like, this is giving me very 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 hectic star wars vibes and when he finally revealed himself and he was his brother i was like oh damn right so it's things like that that you know inspire the way stories are told right now and i think it's it's really cool seeing the merge or the inspiration being drawn from old films and seeing them play out in a lot of the new age stuff that we see right now so I don't know if this video made sense, this was just me rambling about a whole lot of film nonsense, um, but if you enjoyed it and would like me to talk about, you know, some other stuff regarding films and the culture and the history of film, drop a comment down below and we'll get into it in another video. But until next time, thank you for stopping by, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you next time.